Hello again. There's a storm in the opping, but hasn't it Timoth yet? And touch wood, today is the day of the teeth. So, I'm up early, heading over to Newton Abbott. Let's go. Well, there we go, made it through. Got me tickets. Lovely. So all I've got to do now is wait. And some then and nows, of course, or at least one. Okay, we're gonna line this up in a sec. Looking up there. Okay, you see the house directly behind the bridge that comes into it there, in the center. You see that piece of wall there and the lintel. And you see the bridge. You see a little bit of the roof here and that um, roof over there. And this is a bridge being built. So that's that bridge there, which goes down over Bodham Barn Park to Myrtle Hill, being built. Um, I've got a date that says early 60s. Not sure if that quite fits in. May have been being repaired. Not sure. Anyway, there's the first then and now of the day. And here's a train. And if that is going to um, Newton Abbott, an earlier one, it looks like it is painting. I'll get the earlier one safe hanging around. We shall see, we shall see. There's that building they're doing there. It's come quite a way since I last came over. Right, better get ready to get off the train. May as well take the time to see my train head off towards Paynton. This is going to Western Supermare. as I suspected it is starting to rain over here lovely just what I wanted never mind I'll hide out at the station for a bit longer funny to see one of the old photo booths don't see those around very much these days do we with a little um, spinny stool to put you at the right height used to love them years and years ago 
before phones and easy photography. This is the bit where you keep your bikes. Can't get onto the platform now without going back in and getting a ticket. <coughs> that's right. Looks like it's brightening up a bit over that side. So the rain may just be a shower. Fingers crossed. So in the meantime, show you some thoughts and feelings. It does look like it's going to be going ahead as I haven't had any last minute calls from the dentist saying the cement's wrong. Haven't had any last minute calls from anyone else saying there's any other problems. Haven't had a flurry of confirmations. No, it's just been left. No one said don't come, so I'm coming. I honestly think after all this time, it's going to feel a bit weird to have teeth. It's going to be really strange getting used to them again, I think. Because I mean, I've got so used to not having them now. I had to relearn to talk without them. I managed that, so when I get the new ones in, I'm gonna have to reload to talk again, aren't I? Seems logical. Not like I can just pick up where I left off over a year ago. Crazy, really, if you look that way. It looks awful, the you look weather. That way, it's like a sunny day. But I'm gonna start heading down towards there. I'll walk through the um, main entrance to the station in Newton Abbot. There we go, there's the ticket office. remember where those houses are there which are sort of semi newly built back in the 80s there was a garage and an amusement arcade there I always remember the arcade I couldn't remember what it was called and then someone brought it up on in the comments they said oh the pink penny I said yes the pink penny that's right I remember you used to get off a train and go in there and you play the I play a game called Popeye and it was the only uh, machine that was Popeye in the entire area. There were none in Timmouth, none in Dawlish, none in um, Torquay and none anywhere else. So it's the only one was here in Newton Abbott, the Pink Penny. Remember that? However, despite a frantic search, lasting a couple of days in fairness, um, I've been unable to find any pictures of the Pink Penny. Just a reference to someone who remembers it, but no photos. Never mind. Yep, still raining. As you can see, this isn't going to be a very exciting video today. But it's what I've got to do, get my teeth. Right, time to make my way down now in the rain to the dentist. Good old KFC. Right, well here we go, gonna go in now. I'll either be out in about two hours with teeth or I'll be out in about five minutes screaming and shouting. Wish me luck and I'll see you on the other side. Many, many minutes later. Well, hello. I have teeth and they're surprisingly comfy, in fairness. Of course you've got to try eating with them, but they're solidly in there and they don't feel like they shouldn't be there and they're not affecting my speech. Not too badly anyway. So, not bad. Well, okay, it's early doors, but I have to say, I actually quite like these. <laughs> might have been worth the wait, believe it or not, might have been worth the wait. They're very, very comfortable. They close together properly as they should. I've tried some chips and um, they're easy to chew with. Makes mincemeat of the meal or the food. So used to not having them to chew. Yes, very different experience. Don't feel like I've got a wad of chewing gum in my mouth like I did with the NHS teeth. Um, they're not covering the entire top of my palate, so to speak. So, I'm able to taste and the only downside so far is I've bitten the inside of my lip at the front a couple of times 
just talking and eating but um I think I can live with that at the moment I get used to that you know adapt to it yes not too bad not too bad another thing I've noticed I was quite conscious that even if I had my mouth closed people couldn't tell I didn't have any top teeth that the uh, area of my lip above my top lip had sort of sunken into my face a lot making me look you know a good few years older than I actually am and uh, with the new ones new teeth I've replaced that sort of lip I've got that fuller lip again above my well the, the piece just above your top lip really doesn't look so sunken it's not sunken now it's got something behind it so that's another bonus as well yeah Edinburgh this is This is mine, lovely jubbly. Get back to Timoth, show mummy new teeth. Oh, yes. I've seen quite nice GWR benches at the station. Very nice. Stainton up there in the distance, start of it anyway. No big club? Alexander Terrace? Chris's? Here we are, back where we started, but this time I've got teeth. God, I never thought to say that. Anyway, I'm going to go and do teeth related stuff now, like look in mirrors and eat different things that I haven't eaten before and try different things and smile and, you know, play with them really. So I'm going to be doing that this afternoon and tomorrow I'll take them out for a proper spin. Take them down the seawall, show them around. Oh yes. Alright, see you tomorrow. Sorry it wasn't a very good video, but at least I got my teeth. At the end of it, end of a saga.